Hi everybody, what I have here today is the HTC One XL, that's the 4G version of the HTC One X, this is a dual core Qualcomm S4 processor, uh, it's currently running a custom ROM and I have a live wallpaper behind it and a custom widget over there. What I have here on my right is the Galaxy Note 2, this is the N7100 model, the international version of the Galaxy Note 2. And today I'm going to be doing benchmark, benchmark scores on these two devices to see how they compare. This was my first device and I was not sure if I should get this one or not, but um, I've been loving this. And um, before I talk about other things, we'll first look at the performance reviews. So what I'm going to test first today is um, using uh, which benchmark? Using quad Quadrant. Just going to go ahead and open that and that. So I'm going to do benchmark tests on these two using Quadrant. Okay, so um, I've cleared my notification panel and made sure um, uh, nothing is running in background. I have music downloading here from Spotify. That's the icon you have over there. And um, this one, nothing there is running there, but um, it shouldn't really affect much. So I'm just going to run the benchmark, score, uh, benchmark and um, see how the two go. Run for benchmark. Okay, um, I started them at different times. It doesn't really matter um, which one starts or finishes first. I'm just going to compare the score in the end and see how the two compare. So um, the Galaxy Note 2 has a quad core Exynos processor, uh, the latest one. Uh, I think it should be about the same one as the one on the Galaxy S3. Uh, difference though is this one has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, the Gal Galaxy S3 has 1 gigabyte of RAM. This one also is about a, a gigabyte of RAM as well. Just waiting for the benchmarks to finish. Uh, you should check out my other videos. I'm going to do a review on the new improved S Pen on the Galaxy Note. It's pretty cool. And other features on it. But um, the purpose of this video is just to show you the benchmark results. Oh, what is this? Oh. Add a network uh, connection further. See how this one will go. Okay, so this device over here, I'll just show you the score. Don't focus. Okay, so I scored um, 5,274 on this device and um, seems to be running much faster than the HTC One X. Uh, by the way, this is not overclocked or anything. It's just it's running a custom ROM though, but um, it's not overclocked. It's running the stock kernel and stuff like that. But um, seems uh, way faster than the One X there. Uh, we'll just wait for this one to finish and uh, see how the results compare to this phone over here. Let's hope I don't get another error. Okay, yeah, the results for this one. Uh, come on, focus. There you go, so this device scored 5,508, which is um, slightly higher than my 1X here. So again, um, this is the same processor, I think, which is in the same gal um, the Samsung Galaxy S3. So the Galaxy S3 compared to this device, they are not much different. Uh, S3 is slightly faster in some areas, but um, the two shouldn't be that different. So 5,508 here, 5,274 here. So this one takes the lead and is the winner. So uh, we'll try another benchmarking software. Um, this time we'll try um, Antuntu benchmark. That's the one with the icon of it. Sorry. Just open that there. Open this one here. And uh, see how the two compare. OK. So go ahead and test the two, click test on that. Click test on that and um, we'll start the test now. So I'll show you the final scores in the end to see which one takes the lead. 
this device is a higher pixel density than this one um, images and everything look more crisp on this one I think it is about um, 326 uh, dots per inch pixels per inch uh, this one is around uh, 200 and something but yeah 5.5 inch display uh, 4.7 I think 4.7 or 4.8 but I think it's 4.7 We'll just wait for this one. Then the focus is really bad on this one, on this camera. You can see how the two devices compare in size the HTC One XL and the gigantic um, Galaxy Note 2. The tests are taking forever. There you, go. you can sort of see the color differences on the Oh, I have a case on this one, so to look when I take it. Seems like this one is running higher frames per second than this. I guess this test is not really fair since um, I'm running custom ROMs there. I should have tested it um, while they're using their stock software. Because other ones we have performance advantages over the other ones. But anyway, let's see what these results will show. It's doing an SD card uh, right speed test. So here I've got a 32 gigabyte um, class 10 micro SD card. Uh, the HTC One XL does not have um, does not allow you to put in a micro SD card. It only has a built-in memory. It's a 32 gigabyte built-in memory in there. So that's the one's going to do it. I think to probably be way faster than an external SD card that's in here, unless this one is using um, the internal memory. It has 16 gigabytes internal memory plus a 32 gigabyte uh, external. Okay, so the scores are out. Uh, this one scores at um, 7,049. This one scores at 13,000, which is pretty good. Um, the CPU for this one, um, focus, scored 3,387. The CPU here shown at 8,020. The RAM on this one. Uh, scored it 2722. This one 1304. GPU at 1548. This one scored slightly lower. Input and output N94. This one 800 then. So slight memory. So yeah, those are the results there. Thank you for watching.